Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. This is our second uh, wither that we're cutting up. We, we learned a lot on the first one. <laughs> made, made a few mistakes, but nothing... Nothing dire. Nothing dire, and matter of fact, you're going to see the first one. This is what we ended up with, so it turned out really well. A lot of super high quality lamb that's uh, destined to be enjoyed. Uh, Isaac and uh, Ben are working on the second wither. I just finished the front shoulders. They're working on the back hams. And what do you got right here, guys? You're doing the leg of lamb right now. Yep. Ah, right here. to where Ben's. This one's un unprocessed. Okay, yep. That's yeah. the whole leg. Okay, so you're trimming it down to a leg and lamb to... And then leg steaks. Put on the barbie or the grill? Yeah. Barbie. <laughs> See, there's the ball joints right there. There's one. And they kind of slide into each other. Yep. I need to saw for this. And then... Well, y'all have come a long ways in 30 minutes. It's <laughs> crazy what you can learn. <laughs> yeah. So our first one, it took us probably 35, 40 minutes to cut. Yeah. This one we've been on like an hour. maybe an hour. Yeah. This one's going to take like 20, 20 minutes. minutes. 20 minutes on the second with her. Look at these lamb chops. Yeah, yeah. Those, are, those are all in the rib. You got to show them. Yeah, yeah the, do the rib. The rack of ribs. The rack of ribs. Oh, oh, man, look at that. Those are the beautiful stuff. Oh. And you all, it looks like a professional butcher. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's cool. it might be. What do you think, Wait, Brenda look, and Frank? Look, you think that they'll they'll pass as butchers? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, like like I said back when we were doing the burger, every <laughs> animal deserves a good life, good death, good butcher, good cook, and uh, this one I think they got all four. Yeah, <laughs> so far. On the first one, you made the comment uh, the animal got three out of four. You we... got three out of four. Yeah. The butchers, butchers weren't as skilled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you just got through vacuum sealing a neck. This is, this is a neck roast? That's, yeah, yeah. That's yep. the neck. That's Beautiful. Great braised stew. Yep. Oh, great. Great that. And Brenda, you're just getting ready to do a neck roast? Um, is that right? Nope, no, these, these no, that's the, the, the shoulder. arm roast. Yep, the yep. shoulders. The shoulder, the shoulder roast. Two shoulder roasts. You got the string tied on there. Yep. Now these are the short ribs. Short ribs. Um, okay. There's a few yeah. more. Spare ribs. Spare, uh, spare ribs. So there's a spare ribs, yep. yeah. Um, these are the brisket, the um, yep. bottom part of that. Yep. And these are steaks. Steaks off the back hams. Yes. 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 Man. And a few upper shanks. Okay. Yep. And then you got a big pile of bones over here. This is that, that's going to be stocked tomorrow. Stock what? Stock tomorrow. Jan said she may not even wait till tomorrow to cook them. They just cook it down. Tonight. <laughs> get all the stock off of there. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Just make well, them in the oven and then add water and make it stock. Yes. Awesome. So this lamb, uh, actually, it wasn't a lamb. It was a wither that was about two years old. And uh, you can see the, the fat and the cover content on this animal. So. Here's a leg of lamb, the first one, that's the leg. Okay, and then this is a shoulder roast, boneless. Again, the vacuum sealer, unbelievable. Here's the rack, that's the back side. There's your rack of lamb. Uh, sirloin chops, uh, brisket, the breast brisket. Some more sirloin chops, and this is the hind shanks. Golly, I'm getting hungry. Have to cook some of this lamb up. We've got one more uh, hanging uh, out in the shop, and we're going to get that one going next. It's unbelievable how quickly the second one went down. I mean, I grabbed the front shoulder. The boys took the the middle part and the back hams, and they're already done. That's ready to put underneath the vacuum cooler right there. There's your leg of lamb. There's your leg. Now look at that. Trimmed up the shank and then. Here's the other one. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here's the other leg. There's the other leg. The other leg. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Probably awesome. on the other side, but. <laughs> there. There. I would take a knife, guys, and just trim, trim that. that off. Yeah, trim yeah. that bad one. Yep. Winter, winter, Easter dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for some lamb. We need to get the Barbie going. Yeah. Oh, so these are ready for me to slice. Yeah. 
So these right. would be the uh, sirloins on the back. Number three, pretty much. Come yeah. on down. Let's just let. Uh, we can let you catch up. If you yeah. Want. Um, you can. Well, you guys have time constraints, you know. Uh, well, we still got time. The fast as they were on that one, this next yeah. one's going to be a whiz. Yeah. yeah. There's no room. Well, here, pile them up on this cutting board because you don't need this one right away. Yeah. Just, 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 just put them over there. We got a regular assembly line going here. Brenda's trimming them up and getting them ready for Frank. Frank's the vacuum sealer over there. There she is. Another line of uh, lamb chops. Mm, look at that. I think it's just. Look at the width on those things. Yeah, you see, yeah. Unbelievable. So became, um, Folks, this was all the uh, grass, the goodness of grass and clovers, uh, multifer rose bushes, autumn olive trees, um, maybe even some autumn olive berries, um, you know, honey locust leaves. Uh, it's just everything that the sheep eat on the pasture. We're seeing the goodness of that. And uh, Brenda asked a while ago, you know, we'd ever had any of this old before I did one that was older than this it was a three-year-old and um, he was he was good we didn't cut him up we had Larry our butcher do it but and I never saw this, so I it's hard to get a slot right now into any processing plant so this is a craft mm -hmm. and uh, Brenda Frank we want to thank you both for coming out and and uh, helping kind of get us going and this goes both ways we learn a lot too well I'm just <laughs> telling you you all are awesome and uh, I can tell the boys have got a lot more calm. They're whacking away over there. Oh, they have. Yeah. It's like just I'm over here talking. Look at them. They're already boning out. They're going to slice that dude up. They took my job away from me. <laughs> oh. So what? So they're taking the bone. That's the piece they took off the back shank, it's honey. It's the top of the... It's like where the, up here? where the cavity comes up. Yeah. Oh, okay. You having fun, Isaac? Yeah, always. People <laughs> ask. Well, you always said before, uh, you always just boned everything out. But yeah. it's kind of neat to see how the animals broke down when you do it correctly. It's not that hard. Yeah. I always thought it'd be hard to figure out where the cuts go and everything. It's not, it's really is not it? It's not that hard once you, once you understand it. Yep. It's quick, too. A lot quicker. I think Jan and I are going to invest in a bandsaw. Uh, just it make it go a lot easier on some of the cuts. This is, yeah, that's hard. And that part came out of here. Okay. So there is a joint here, though. So yeah. that's above the joint. Correct? Yep. That's, here is that's like that. Yeah, soup bone. that's like... And the piece they're working on now. That's the ball and socket in here. Yeah, yep. this, so this, is, is, this is the socket. That's socket. the other side of it right there. Up there. Yep. Yeah. So they've got a very short... Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you just cut them like this. That's yes. Those. But when I cut them, I think I turn around and put the fat side up. Okay. Uh, and then so you just start yep. slicing. Yep, just start slicing. And before you slice, I would uh, put an edge on that knife. Okay. Well, there's a good soup bone right there, Ben. You just whacked out of there. We're going to be done here pretty soon. We just got one more to go, and uh, we're going to have three lambs cut up. And we started it around, oh, it was 1.30, 2 o'clock, and it's 3.30 right now. So. We whack these things out pretty quick. Man, look at that. Got some super, super good eating in front of us. So I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, now this, that's steak. So, yeah, you, you want them as thin as you can cut them. Okay. Um, I mean, not as, you know, about like that. Just like that. That's why you want a sharp, no, that's too thick, Ben. Come back and look. Right there, perfect. Yeah. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to fry them. Or Jan might bake them. But the uh, hind, uh, the sirloins. What do you do with them? Uh, you can cook them like you nor any kind of sirloin. Yeah. Okay. I've grilled them. Tacos. I've grilled them before. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, quick grill. Yep. Tacos. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, you got the whole sirloin there. <laughs> awesome. Do you have them when you turn around? Well, or when you get a bigger unit. Yeah, those are pretty nice. So it helps to have big units. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody oh. talks about, you know, they want lean meat, lean meat. Well, look at that, yeah. There's where the, the taste and the flavor comes from the fat. And that's all the fat that was from beta carotene on grass and forages. So, yeah, that's the stuff that'll make you live to be 100 years old. <laughs>
Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm still doing this when I'm hungry. <laughs> But folks, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. We're kind of getting, uh, they're ready for me to help them bring another lamb in or another wither. And uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. So anyway, those of y'all new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button on the way out. And I uh, appreciate a like button as well. And everybody have a good weekend. Stay safe out there.